Hi, I'm Lewin Taker today. As another Christmas gift, I'm making a mortar and a pistol. Uh, but I have no fun making them. Last year, René suggested I make a mortar and pistol for our son's girlfriend. I looked at a bunch of pictures on the net to get some ideas. Since it was easy and quick to make Chantal's dog treat bowl, I thought this would be easy and relaxing. I was so wrong. But it started pretty well. I prepare some maple and cherry. When I have five small pieces, I glue them together. Up until this point, it's a walk in the park. I put clamps and leave this to dry overnight. The next morning, I need to cut all the faces of this glue up straight. When it's done, I cut it square. After finding the center, I cut the corners. Then I put it on the lathe. The first thing to do is to turn a cylinder. In no time I have this. To be able to hold this with my chuck, I cut a tenon. After checking that it's small enough, I turn it around and hold the future mortar with the chuck. On the other side, I cut a mortise, so I will be able to hold this side with the chuck. Everything is fine. Life is good. I turn it around again and hold it from the inside. After checking that this is still in the center, I cut another mortise into what will be the base of the mortar. And here's where my adventures begin. I just put the mortar in the chuck and continue. Oh, Here it was not too bad. At least the mortise was finished. I turned this around again and hold it with the mortise I just got. To calm myself, I decide to give it its final exterior shape. Uh, this goes pretty smoothly. Okay, it's true that I was able to add the tail stock for extra support. I even do a bit of sanding. But I still need to remove some wood inside the mortar. 
A picture is worth a thousand words. Yes, I finished with a sore road and a broken mortar. Ah, but I was able to find all the broken pieces. To relax, I glue them back together and take a break for the rest of the day. This will do me some good. The next morning, I put this back on the lathe and try to make the hole a bit deeper. Okay, the last thing I wanted was a repeat of yesterday. I stop this right there and give it its final sanding. I don't want to sand the interior on the lathe, so I hold it with my vise and sand the inside with a round pneumatic drum. I never thought I would say this, but Sanding is quite relaxing. I sand only the bottom by hand, but I also need a pestle. For this, I will also use cherry. But here, since I'm turning between points, I have no adventure <laughs> and I'm not complaining. After sanding it all up to its final grit, I remove it from the lathe and cut the rest with a saw. Both round ends are sanded with a soft interface pad on my sander. Finally, the turning is finished. I just need to burn my signature on the bottom. Here it is. For the finish, I use some salad bowl finish. In fact, uh, it's a mix of mineral oil and beeswax. When I'm done, I have this. I just need to give it to Dominique for Christmas. Ah, oh, a truc à épices. Un piment à épices. Obviously, René chose the perfect gift. As you can see, Dominique was super happy. In fact, she was much happier than I was when I turned it. One thing I'm happy about, it's the fact that it's impossible to see the broken pieces anymore. Even if I had no fun at all, I was satisfied with the finished piece. This was the mortar and pestle I made last Christmas for our son's girlfriend. I hope at least I made you smile a bit. And don't forget to come back for a less adventurous episode of The Woodpecker.